Bacterial vaginosis, often called BV for short, is a common vaginal condition that occurs when there is an imbalance in the natural bacterial ecosystem of the vagina. Yes, you heard that right. Your vagina has its own ecosystem. Normally, the vagina is home to a variety of bacteria, with the good bacteria, mainly lactobacillus species, keeping everything in check. These friendly bacteria produce lactic acid, which helps maintain a slightly acidic environment that keeps other potentially harmful bacteria at bay. But in bacterial vaginosis, this delicate balance gets disrupted. The good bacteria decrease, and other types of bacteria that are normally present in smaller numbers start to overgrow. This leads to changes in the vaginal environment that can cause symptoms and increase the risk of other health issues. Bacterial vaginosis is incredibly common. In fact, it's the most common vaginal condition in women of reproductive age. In the United States, it's estimated that about 21.2 million women between the ages of 14 and 49 have BV at any given time. That's nearly 30% of women in this age group, but it's much more common in African American women, with studies showing rates as high as 51% in this group. However, many of these women may not even realize they have it because they don't experience noticeable symptoms. Causes of Bacterial Vaginosis The exact causes of BV aren't fully understood, but we do know several factors that can greatly increase your risk. Number 1. Sexual Activity BV is more common in sexually active women, especially those with new or multiple partners. However, it's important to note that BV isn't considered a sexually transmitted infection because it can occur in women who aren't sexually active. Number 2. Douching. This practice can seriously disrupt the vaginal ecosystem. It washes away the good bacteria along with the bad, leaving your vagina vulnerable to overgrowth of the wrong kinds of bacteria. Number 3. Lack of lactobacillus bacteria. Some women naturally have lower levels of these protective bacteria, which can make them more susceptible to BV. Number 4. Hormonal changes. Changes in hormone levels, like those that occur during menstruation or pregnancy, can affect the vaginal environment and potentially lead to BV. Number 5. Cigarette smoking. For reasons not entirely clear, smoking seems to increase the risk of BV. Number 6. Certain types of intruderine devices. Some studies have found a link between copper IUDs and increased risk of BV. It's worth noting that while these factors can increase your risk, having one or more of them doesn't mean you'll definitely get BV, and you can develop BV even without these risk factors. Symptoms of Bacterial Vaginosis The tricky thing about BV is that about half of women who have it don't experience any symptoms at all. But for those who do, here's what you might notice. Number 1. Unusual vaginal discharge. This is the most common symptom. The discharge might be thin and watery and often has a grayish-white color. Number 2. Fishy odor. Many women with BV notice a strong, fishy smell, especially after sex or during menstruation. This is because the overgrown bacteria produce certain compounds that have this characteristic odor. Number 3. Burning or itching. Some women experience mild burning or itching in and around the vagina. Number 4. Pain during urination. Less commonly, BV can cause a burning sensation when you pee. It's important to note that these symptoms can be similar to those of other vaginal infections, like yeast infections or certain STIs. That's why it's crucial to see a doctor for proper diagnosis if you're experiencing these symptoms. Before we continue, if you have been enjoying the video so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Diagnosis of Bacterial Vaginosis For diagnosing bacterial vaginosis, your doctor will likely perform a pelvic exam to look for signs of BV, such as characteristic discharge. They might use a pH strip to test the acidity of your vagina. A pH higher than 4.5 can indicate BV. A common test for BV is the WIFT test, which involves adding a drop of potassium hydroxide to a sample of vaginal discharge. If it produces a strong fishy odor, it's likely BV. The doctor might also look at a sample of your vaginal discharge under a microscope. In BV, they'll see certain characteristic cells called clue cells. 
Sometimes, a sample might be sent to a lab for more detailed analysis, especially if other infections are suspected. Treatment for bacterial vaginosis. The good news here is that BV is treatable. Here's what treatment typically involves. Number one, antibiotics. The most common treatment for BV is a course of antibiotics. These might be oral pills, like metronidazole or tinidazole, or a vaginal gel or cream, like metronidazole gel or clindamycin cream. It's crucial here to complete the full course of antibiotics, even if your symptoms go away before you finish. Number two, probiotics. Some doctors recommend probiotics, either oral or vaginal, to help restore the balance of good bacteria in the vagina. While more research is needed, some studies have shown this can be helpful. Number three, avoiding irritants. During treatment, it's best to avoid things that might irritate your vagina, like douching, using scented products in the vaginal area, or having sex. Number four, partner treatment. While BV isn't considered an STI, some doctors might recommend treating male sexual partners with antibiotics as well, especially in cases of recurrent BV. It's worth noting that while treatment is usually effective, BV can come back. About 50% of women who are treated for BV will experience a recurrence within a year. Prevention of bacterial vaginosis. While it's not always possible to prevent BV, there are some steps you can take to reduce your risk. First of all, practicing good hygiene is super important. Clean the vaginal area with mild, unscented soap and water, and avoid douching or using scented products in the vaginal area. Consistent condom use can also help protect against BV, and limiting sexual partners can reduce your risk. If you smoke, quitting can reduce your risk of BV, and improve your health in many other ways too. Wearing breathable, cotton underwear allows better air circulation than synthetic materials. When using the bathroom, always wipe from front to back to prevent bacteria from the anal area from reaching the vagina. Some studies suggest that regular use of probiotics might help prevent BV, though more research is needed in this area. Complications and living with bacterial vaginosis. While BV is usually more of a nuisance than a serious health threat, it can lead to some complications if left untreated. Women with BV are more susceptible to contracting sexually transmitted infections, including HIV. BV during pregnancy has also been linked to preterm birth and low birth weight. It can sometimes lead to pelvic inflammatory disease, which can cause more serious health issues. Women with BV who undergo gynecological procedures are also at higher risk of developing post-surgical infections. If you've been diagnosed with BV, Remember that it's incredibly common and nothing to be ashamed of. Follow your treatment plan and don't hesitate to reach out to your doctor if you have concerns or if your symptoms return. Now, we want to hear from you. Did you have bacterial vaginosis before? Do you have other tips for prevention? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.